Hey guys, it's Yvette and I have a very special box to open today. Um, I have spent about half my waking day so far sewing with Stephanie and with you guys live and uh, left to go get some ice cream. Yeah, it's about 30 degrees outside. Okay, it's probably warmer than that. At least that's what Jim would say. Um, but we went to get ice cream and now we're back and I'm super bloated and I'm excited to open this box. <laughs> so this is Stephanie's project box. It's the one that she's been sewing on um, yesterday and today. And I, so I have not seen it yet. I have no idea what's inside. I purposefully did not watch a single thing she was sewing. So I'm ready to get it open. You guys probably are seeing it or have seen it way before I have. So I'm ready to get it open now. Let's go. All right. She always puts her box inside the priority mailer so that it doesn't get all messed up. Oh, I should probably put that across too. Doo -doo. Okay, this is Stephanie Stitches Winter Project Box, <laughs> and she still puts the tape on it, so now I have to open even more. This means you have to really be ready to open it. It's like she's saying, do you really want to open it now? Ow, jelly bean. I don't know why he does that, guys. And he always does it without warning. Okay, hold on, let's see what's inside. He's excited. We have a little note inside. Okay, Stephanie Stitches Winter Project Box. Welcome to the winter edition of my project box. The colors of winter are so lovely, but the chill is not. I don't think so, I kinda like the chill. <laughs> So I've included something to help you warm up. I chose this fabric line because it reminded me of the winters here in Ohio, from the colors to the cardinals. Come sew this project with me on my YouTube channel, Stephanie Stitches, on November 6th at 5 p.m. Eastern. And she did. Um, we also sewed today, and um, she's gonna sew again to finish up this project um, sometime this week. If you are not subscribed to her channel, you should go and subscribe and ring the bell. And when she goes live, you'll know about it. It'll give you, um, you two will send you a little notification to tell you that she's starting. Okay. Um, okay, I don't want to look at the contents. It says, this box contains everything you need to complete the top binding and backing of your project. And I included the pressing pin that I have been asked about so many times as I feel it truly makes those seams as flat as possible. Next year, I can't believe it's time to talk about next year already. <laughs> Me too. Um, I will continue my seasonal project boxes thanks to all the support I've received and encouragement to keep them going. And I will also be adding three holiday edition boxes, Valentine's, 4th of July, and Christmas. XOXO Stephanie. Okay, so here we go. Here's the inside. She is thanking us for buying her box. And just as a side note, I did not buy this box. Stephanie kindly sent this to me for a review so that you could see what's inside. Okay, you guys, I love this fabric collection. Um, it is called Winterland. And here are the fabrics on the back. Very, very nice. I, I really do love this collection. I really do. It's gorgeous. Um, okay. She also gave us... Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I knew about the topper. I'll Full disclosure, she did tell me about it. Um, and so she's given us a package of hot chocolate. Some Swiss Miss. And this is a marshmallow to put on top of your hot chocolate. Um, I want to say her daughter <laughs> found it, like loves marshmallows on her hot chocolate. And so when Stephanie saw this, she was like, oh my gosh, this is it. This is my sweet treat for the box. And so perfect, Steph, perfect. Um, 
Oh my goodness. I am, I am so super stoked. So she's given us this gorgeous thread. It's an Aurifil, um, I'm just trying to get the weight for you. I'm pretty sure this is 40 weight. Nope, it's 50. So this is a 50 weight or fill thread, um, which is the most popular weight. Just wanted to say that. Um, and this color is gorgeous. It is number, in case you're seeing it and you're interested, it's number 2710. It, it goes perfect. Look, it goes perfectly. That's, that's gorgeous. Okay. Um, she's also given us the acorn, uh, precision piecing. This is the fabric treatment and you put it in the pin. And I was about to buy one of these and I was going to like put them in my shop. But now that I know that she has them, you know, and the, to be, listen, you guys, I knew she had them like up here but I did not remember <laughs> and I was about to buy one of these. And, um, and then I remembered that this is probably exactly what she had sent me before that I had bought out of her shop. Y'all it brain fog. That's what it is. Um, but these are great. These are amazeballs. Um, you basically just use this and you put it right on the seam that you're going to sew and then you press right on it um, and it gives you a, the flattest seam you've ever seen in your entire life. It's sort of like, um, you know, spritzing with best press or water or whatever, but this is for a precise spot. So if you put it like right on your seam um, and then you press, then you'll get a very flat seam. Now, personally, I like to put the um, the stuff on the inside like the uh, wrong side of the fabric and then flip over and press on top of that just in case. I mean, I don't, I'm sure that there's probably no scorching or anything, but just to be on the safe side, that's what I do. Um, but this is a wonderful product. You're going to love it. <laughs> Go and check out in her shop and, and see if she's got some. Okay. So then um, I'm going to show you the pattern. It's called Charming Prisms by Creekside Stitches. And you can either make um, a table runner or a placemat. And um, I think that, so Stephanie went by the fabric that was on the back. And when they were making the, the items yesterday and today, I think that they said you have enough fabric that you could, that you could make the table runner and two placemats with um with the fabric that she gives you so you have plenty um to make whatever you'd like and so there it is and the fabric requirements are one charm pack which here we have the winterland charm pack I'm just going to drop everything on the floor as I'm talking to you. Um, the main fabric, you need seven eighths of a yard. The binding, you need half a yard. And the backing, one and a quarter yard. Okay, so this must be what she's given us for the backing. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous, you guys. Look how pretty that is. Oh, Stephanie, I, lo I love your taste. I do. This is gorgeous. Um, and then this would be the backing or the main fabric. This is the main fabric. And it's truly gorgeous. And here's what we have for the binding. Oh my goodness. I wish I had had time to open it before today so I could have sewed along yesterday and today with you guys. Um, so hopefully you have been sewing along with her and I just, oh my goodness, I, I, I have to make this now. I, I love it. I love all of it. And I'm so happy for everything in the box. She chose very well um, the items to put inside. So I think, and guys, you know, I, my goal was to help her sell boxes, but I'm quite certain she has sold all her boxes. I will give you a link um, 
if I go and check her shop and she still has some left, but I, I think they're gone. And so here's the thing. She and I do do project boxes, um, not subscription boxes. So they will be put up in our shops whenever we're kind of ready. We usually do them for a pre-order. Makes it a, just a tiny bit easier for us um, to be able to sell for you guys. And so, um, th so sh just keep an eyeball out. If you have not signed up for her, um, for her newsletter, do that because when they go up for sale, she will send um, a newsletter out letting you know that it is up for sale and you can get one. And really you need to get it fast because if you don't, she sells out very quickly and when they're gone, they're gone. So um, definitely sign up for her newsletter so that you know when her next one's coming out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching this one and please go and support Stephanie. She's a real sweetheart and she, you won't be sorry. Bye.